Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd just spend a couple of minutes this morning showing you a catch up of a few things that I never got round to showing and talking about at the time I bought them. Um, first of all, the couple of nail polishes, and in fact I bought two lip products as well, at the time of the release of the Lay Beige collection from Chanel. I'd seen a lot of publicity for it and lots of photos before we got a chance to buy anything in the UK. And then I was stalking the website because I knew there were going to be four nail polishes, all quite similar, but needless to say, being a collector, I wanted to get them all. And I can tell you, I was looking at the website at least daily and uh, suddenly they popped up and already two of them were, um, in inverted commas, sold out. Uh, I managed to get these two that uh, you can see. Um, pretty similar in the bottle. So first of all, this is Golden Sand. I've actually got the remnants of it on that thumbnail there. Um, you can see a really kind of... Um, luminescent sand colour, <laughs> um, very golden, a mid-toned golden. It's a pretty colour. I don't think it's unique. I think they've done similar colours before. It's definitely much warmer than the Shen Door, uh, which I think was a Christmas nail polish. I'm going to say not last year, the year before, although they all tend to run together without me looking it up, but it was a gold nail polish from Chanel. Actually, it might have been last Christmas because I know it was around at the time I had my uh, OPI advent calendar, which was, was last year. So um, some of you may have got that. That was a much cooler toned gold, if that's possible. I mean, gold is gold, um, but this is very warm. And then the other um, one that I got, which again was kind of the middle tone of the range of polishes, is called, uh, is it Sunlight? Yeah, um, my eyesight, honestly. So it looks fairly similar in the bottle. I think you can see it's definitely a much more rosy gold. Um, I could put a bit on the nail just to illustrate. I'm going to do my manicure properly later on, but uh, why not get an idea? There we go. I think that's a really pretty shade, actually. Um, very feminine, uh, fairly discreet. That would be perfectly acceptable in most workplaces, I think. Um, so I'm surprised that wasn't one of the most popular ones. The ones that were sold out were, unsurprisingly, the darkest bronze colour. All of them are kind of um, slightly metallic. And that was called Solar, I think. And it was the one I was most interested in. I think um, from the promotion photographs I saw, it was most similar to, uh, I think it was called Terrazzo. It was part of a summer collection a few years ago and uh, looked very similar, but... Who knows, often when you get them, um, they're quite different. And then there was a very pale um, kind of shell-like colour, which probably would have been the one to least interest me, but, you know, I wanted to get it anyway. Uh, I think that was called Shimmer, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, I've continued stalking the website. I've tried various of the boutiques. This whole collection doesn't seem to have made any of the um, main counters anywhere and to have had very spotty dis distribution at all. I haven't found a single boutique in the UK that was selling these nail polishes at all. Um, if they had any of the Lay Beige collection, it was the eyeshadow palettes and uh, they were using repromotes um, from past uh, nail collections with that. Now the eye palettes um, got good reviews and they did look quite nice. Um, I have had the Lay Beige collections before, which a lot of people haven't liked, haven't liked the texture as much as their ordinary quads. I've liked them, but uh, I wasn't really excited enough to get either of them this time. Part of the reason was I dug out from my collection 
this one, which was a lay beige release a few years ago when they were doing these um, larger palettes, which I really liked. Um, not large in the sense, you know, it's not huge in your hand, but a lot of different colours. And this was called um, Les Indispensibles. Sorry for me butchering French. Uh, indispensable colours, I think that means. And um, it's a really nice selection. And it, I thought when I looked at the Lay Beige palettes, it was very similar. Um, and I definitely didn't need to get another one. I mean, you can see I have used this quite a bit, but not as much as I should have done. I haven't used it recently. So I've actually pulled that out to uh, get to use that a bit more, um, especially as I'm away from home at the moment. So I decided to forego the palettes. I did buy one of the newly released lip products, which is a uh, Coco Shine uh, 162. I can't read my glasses need updating, honestly. Uh, but it's certainly number 162 and was newly released. I don't know if it was part of that collection. Probably not. You can see a kind of mid-toned glossy pink, uh, which I have been wearing and enjoying. If I can read better what it's called by taking it to the window, I'll put it in the information box below. And then I also bought one of these um, jewel ones that I've never had before, which is a liquid colour and then a see-through gloss at the other end. Um, and I got Darling Pink, which was recommended um, on one of the websites. I can't quite remember who. Um, and it is, it's a very pretty colour. Uh, I quite like the formula. You have to apply it with enough time to dry, um, you know, like five minutes really, um, before you're thinking of eating, drinking, licking your lips or anything like that, um, which doesn't sound a, a lot to ask, but I'm very, very impatient <laughs> in the morning when I'm putting on my lipstick, let alone applying it later. So that's a disadvantage. And I haven't really used the lip gloss that much. Um, but it's a comfortable formula. It lasts a bit longer as a liquid than say the Coco Shine, but not fantastically long. Now, the other thing that I forgot to show you were my takes from the um, Tom Ford Soleil release. I was tempted by the perfume, not least because it looked so glamorous in the gold bottle, but it was so expensive that without smelling it first, and I haven't always been that fond of their summer releases. I um, gave that a miss. I knew I wanted, well, when I first saw what the collection consisted of, I didn't think I'd want the lip gloss because, as you know, I'm not very big on lip glosses. But then I saw some of the um, reviews of the Sunlust lip gloss that told me it changed colour on the lips. So there it is, very, very obvious gold in um, the tube. It doesn't really work on the back of my hand, but there you see it going on. Reasonably subtle, actually, not as garish as it looks in the tube. Um, but it's supposedly, and you could see that it kind of looks a bit pinky on um, the Dauphin. And that's what it goes on me. It goes, rather than gold, sort of pinky. A bit more pink than it's looking on the back of the hand there. It is pretty. Um, it's not a patch on the uh, Winter Soleil glittery lipstick that you know I was absolutely enchanted by. And I both like looking at it in the bullet and I do like it on the lips. Uh, I haven't worn it a huge amount, but then I'm not a gloss wearer, but um, I'm not sure if it's still available. I forgot to look on the website. It did sell out at the time, but I don't know if they've had more in. And then I ummed and ahed about this for a long time. This is Black Sand, one of their duos with um, a cream and a topper. Um, beautiful kind of gold pot. I ummed and ahed because the cream is this really dirty black and I thought there's no way I'm going to wear that. Um, I might use it to um, line an eye but 
you know, even smudged out. A tiny bit can smudge out to a kind of grey with some little particles of sheen in. And then the topper. There we go. Gold. Now, like I need any more golds, having um, really indulged in the Chanel Christmas collection. But I saw all these um, YouTube demos of really pretty and not too dramatic eye looks that I had to give in. Was it a good idea? Not really. Um, there's an awful lot of product in there and you can see I've made hardly any impression. I think I've done this kind of eye look maybe twice and um, partly we're not exactly going on glamorous holidays this year in our face masks and uh, staycations at home because we can't fly anywhere. Um, so do I regret buying it? No, not really. It's quite a nice one to have in the collection. It's staying in the collection, but I don't think I'll use it a lot. I think if I was younger and uh, more of a sun seeker and going to glamorous night spots, then I would use this a lot more and in a more dramatic way. Kind of makes me think of the glorious days of, um, well, for my age group, Studio 54 and um, the, the world of disco. But since then, the kind of clubbing world of the 2000s um, with, uh, you know, outrageous makeup looks and uh, frizzy hair. But that's not really my look. But uh, there we go. I gave in to the advertising or rather the YouTube promotion as usual and uh, no regrets really. So um, there's a bit of a catch up. On the nail polish front, um, a dear friend of mine, Lara Martin, who has a channel, you might want to check in, particularly if you're Russian speaking. She does most videos twice, once for her English fans and once for her far more numerous uh, Russian fans. Um, but she deserves to have more English speaking fans as well. Um, she's managed to find a website where we can source these missing nail colours. So uh, I'm now quite excited to receive those. Um, but I thought I'd show you those ones that I've already got uh, so that I can put them away. Anyway, um, off to enjoy what little sunshine there is today. And I shall speak to you again soon. Bye for now.